Mayor Brandon Johnson addresses the dire gun violence plaguing Chicago, especially during weekends, when over 100 people were shot and 18 lost their lives. So we cut off the pipeline of boys between the ages of 10 and 19 being either victims or the perpetrators. So, yeah, it is personal. Black death has been unfortunately accepted in this country for a very long time. We had a chance 60 years ago to get at the root causes. And people mocked President Johnson. And we ended up with Richard Nixon. I'm going to work hard every day to transform this city. That's what it takes to build a better, stronger, safer Chicago. I need everybody to step up. Johnson's response appears to sidestep the immediate need for action, choosing instead to criticize Richard Nixon, a figure who left office nearly half a century ago. By doing so, Johnson seems to avoid discussing current policies and leadership strategies within his control. This tactic of blaming historical figures without proposing tangible solutions is perceived as avoiding responsibility and failing to meet the urgent needs of Chicago's citizens. Many argue that pointing fingers at Richard Nixon for today's problems is both historically incorrect and inappropriate. Every administration since Nixon, including those led by Democrats, had opportunities to address these issues. Focusing on Nixon is seen as a diversion from addressing contemporary factors contributing to gun violence, such as local policy decisions, law enforcement strategies, and community initiatives. Instead of evading, Mayor Johnson should emphasize enforcing stricter law enforcement policies, bolstering police presence, and enhancing community policing to curb violence. His comments suggest a broader progressive trend towards avoiding stringent crime policies, which are crucial for restoring safety and order.